Gut calling. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day today. It's only 91 out here, or 92. <laughs> 92? Are you kidding me? On a porch? In the shade? <laughs> Could be Arizona with smoke. <laughs> I keep thinking of. Boy, I remember all those years in Santa Ana winds. Every time Santa Ana winds came up, there was a fire. Every time the fires came up, there was smoke. Whenever smoke came up, we were buried <laughs> in it. But here today, it's nice. It's pleasant. You know, God always brings you to a pleasant place when you turn your life over to him and allow him to guide you. Now, I'm not going to say that, you know, everyone would consider what my life is right now pleasant i use milk cartons you know to decorate things <laughs> so it's not designer <laughs> it's pleasant and my wife likes it and i like it and we enjoy the simpler things we have fun with it we oh i don't know you know i'm old enough that i've seen everything that was designer actually come from something that was less than designed you know and so i enjoy Maybe a simpler lifestyle. And she seems to have gotten used to it. <laughs> but that would be for her, emotional and devotional to say. For me, with God calling, wait. The world has always seen service for me to be activity. Only those near to me have seen that a life apart of prayer may and does so often accomplish more than all the service that man can offer me. If a man lived apart with me and only went out to serve at my direct command, my spirit could operate more and accomplish truly mighty things. It's a simple devotion. It's a simple word. It speaks volumes. It talks of not just saying a prayer and leaving it there, but it talks about how really, how fast, how quick am I? I mean, I was going to say you, but you know, I don't know you. Maybe you're a prayer champion, a prayer warrior. <laughs> but how fast are we to think that we need to do something rather than to be something? You know, there's always this hustle and bustle about Sunday mornings. You know, there's there's something about it that God only knows. <laughs> I hate it, but <laughs> I hate Sunday mornings. I love working it, but I don't like going to it. But there's something about Sunday mornings. I always sense that there's more of the do than there is the being. And what I mean by that is that it's not relaxed. It's not just a fact that you could just enjoy Jesus, you know. You got to get dressed up. You got to get there on time. You got to go get, you know, nowadays they're putting coffees in the foyers and they're doing all these other things to make it friendly. You know, and you got to have all these different ways of making it easier to be with God. What? You know, you got to have a certain kind of worship. You got to have a certain responsiveness. You got to have a certain sound system and a certain capabilities and you got to do this and do that so that you could be this, to be that, to get there, to have that, to walk away and do what? <laughs> I'm sorry. If I can't be as frank with God, <laughs> sorry all you Franks out there, then I don't want to be holy with God. You know, I mean, I don't want to put on airs in order to be who I am. I would rather that I become the person that he wants me to be so that I am always the same irregardless of Sunday morning or Sunday night or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm as much fun loving in church as I am, say, going out dancing, which I'm planning on doing tonight, so I've got to hurry and get this done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, but I'm the same way, you know, that... I think I write, but some people say, no, you know, you seem pretty blunt when you write, and I don't know, I think I'm pretty blunt when I talk, but who knows? I don't know what you see, but I know this, with God, I just share with Him where I'm at, 
what I'm at, what I'm doing, and he takes me through my process of learning, and I become different than who I was before to who I am today, and I become better for what I will be. I know, because I can see the future in the sense that he's doing it, I know that I will be better in the future, better at what he wants me to be, not what I think perfection is or what I think religion could make me, but rather <laughs> I see how love carries through your soul and your life and it becomes a manifestation of a tenderness that extends itself outward to everything. And you become tender towards God and loving. And so, I think we ought to wait and not do more than we do. I think that a given moment in time spent with God without doing a thing can be an eternity here on earth. I think that a day with the Lord is like a thousand years because if you really did understand what it's like to step outside of time as Paul described and to visit heaven then a moment there could be a lifetime here. And isn't that what you want? I mean, why bother with all this if that's not what you want? But isn't that really what you want? To be with God? To be with Jesus? I hope so. There are some people that really want religion because they want to do more than they want to be. And I would rather we all become more like him. I think you're going to become like him whether you like it or not. Because <laughs> my God is going to complete the work in you. You little turkey, you thought you'd get away with it by being a workaholic? No. God has a way of, if you choose to spend the time with him, great. If you don't, he'll work out a way to bring you to your knees to bring you to a place where you're going to spend time with Him one way or another. I prefer that you choose the easy way because I've been there the hard way <laughs> and sometimes I still am.